Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Smash JT. And yes, I have the old background back, back by popular demand. The green screen was fun and all, but I don't know, there's just something about the original that I just can't let go of. Anyways, in this episode, we are going to be unboxing a 1-6 scale size actual arcade cabinet of Centipede. This is made by New Wave Toys, and it is absolutely gigantic. Well, at least one-sixth the size of an actual arcade. Let's get into this. One thing I always wanted from an arcade, more than anything else, especially the really old school ones where you got high scores, was something that would save them forever, where if you turned it off, they wouldn't reset. And the first thing I see on the back of this is it says, saves high scores. That is awesome. It's official arcade ROM in a real wooden cabinet. This is high ass quality material making a 1 6 scale arcade cabinet of the actual centipede game complete with trackball and I have yet to even see what this thing looks like so I guess this is going to be kind of an unboxing as well as going over what it feels like to play it. Let me slide this thing out. It's kind of like a shoebox the way it starts here. The packaging is beautiful. This is probably the one time you'll hear me talk nicely about Atari, where it's not even Atari making it. It's Replicate Amusements making it. Part of Retro Fighters, and look at this. That is beautiful. Smells nice, too. Woo-wee. All right, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. The arcade cabinet's actually a little bit smaller than I was expecting. I thought it was going to be, like, the full size of the box, but... There's like a whole bottom to this that, well, I guess it is longer than what it looks like. That's what she said. <laughs> Woo. Oh, there's the keychain. I was wondering if that was sent separately or not, but check this keychain out. This is actually what helped sell me on buying this product. It's an actual light up Atari keychain that you press and it lights up. And it is heavy as hell. This thing weighs like, feels like it weighs at least a pound. <laughs> it's a hell of a keychain. I'd imagine it's made out of full steel. I don't know how else it would be that heavy, but that's pretty cool. And yes, for those wondering, I will be putting that on my keychain forever. I don't care how heavy it is. It's too badass not to. All right, here we go. The actual arcade cabinet. Woo! This is magnificent. The style is on point. You can tell it's real wood. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic. That's some bad news though. Charge before you play it. Looks like I'm gonna have to go charge this thing before I give it a shot, but initial impressions are, I am completely blown away. It has a lithium ion battery charger little charge port in the back there which is gigantic because if it had batteries or something like that I'd worry about battery acid leakage plus you'd be wasting batteries all the time but having a full-on lithium-ion rechargeable battery for this ensures that you'll be able to use it for pretty much ever I mean I still use my Game Boy Advance SP and that charger lasts forever on that thing so I have it plugged in and charging to the computer and while it's doing that pull the screen protector off it says charge before play don't need that anymore all the buttons light up on it and the coin slots light up and one thing else they sent here that I didn't even know came with it this is like freaking adorable tiny little quarters I don't know if you can see that there we go tiny little quarters that could go into the coin slots that are definitely choking hazards for little kids but maybe they're too small for that I'll definitely lose them though hopefully you don't need those to play Let's check out the arcade cabinet door. Does this key actually work? Does it open? Yeah, there we go. It opens to reveal a little storage door right there. You can like put your drugs in there and stuff. Or whatever you want to be hiding. But that is pretty cool. Diecast metal door. It's a pretty decent sized storage area in there. For real, you could probably put a lot of stuff in there. I don't know what you'd want to be hiding, but if you ever wanted to hide something super secret or Propose to your girl who really likes Centipede. Put a ring right in there. 
<laughs> That's pretty sweet. All right, let's fire this baby up and see what's got. Press the power button on the top. It shows a little charging battery there, kind of like a cell phone when you plug those in. Lets you know that it is charging. And probably not charged enough to actually play right now, but let's try it. There it is. You got to press and hold the button for three seconds. New Wave Toys logo. Look at that. The marquee lights up. That is legit. The Atari logo. Used under license from Atari. That's how you know it's good because it's not actually made by Atari. Look at the music in the back and the sound effects. That brings back a lot of memories. Alright, I'm going to try to play this for a little bit. Switching over to my phone here because the computer camera is giving me way too much glare, but here we go. I'm going to try to play this with one hand. The left coin slot here starts the game up, and you can also select one player or two player here on the dashboard. So, one player. Let's see what I can do here. Really accurate controls. The trackball is very on point. This feels like you're actually playing the full arcade. It's like strange. It's so accurate. It's really weird. I'm actually impressed with how well I'm doing with one hand here. Oh, bust it! Oh. But yeah, this is legit accurate, guys. This is amazing. Loving the controls, the actual artwork on the side. Back here has the backer edition because I bought this on Kickstarter. There's 5,000 of these made. There's the speaker in the back. The power button and the volume. Wow, that gets actually pretty loud. Pretty sweet. Alright, so this thing is absolutely incredible, and I would hope so for the price of $160, it better be absolutely arcade perfect. And it is. And it's one sixth scale of the actual Centipede arcade unit. Likely the closest thing that we'd ever get to an actual Centipede arcade in our houses. So $160, I feel like it's a fairly steep price and it's really strictly for those people who want the actual nostalgia and having a really cool center talking piece to leave it on your coffee table or something for people to see when they come to your house. But I know I'm going to have a blast with this. My kids are going to love it and I am very happy with the purchase I made with it. Now the great folks over at New Wave Toys in charge of making this replicate centipede arcade unit, this is the owner's manual for it, uh, they actually were kind enough to say, hey, we like your channel, we like what you're doing over there, we love that you backed us, and we want to support you by giving you one of these to give away to your subscribers, which honestly floored me. Giving me something that has a $160 value to give away to my subscribers. I don't even know what to say, except thank you so much to New Wave Toys for being so kind and generous with this. And it's not influencing how I feel about this arcade unit whatsoever. They didn't really even need to do that. I was excited for this so much that I dropped my own money on it the second I heard about it. I didn't even consider asking them for it for free. I didn't even consider asking them for one to give away for free. They proactively reached out to me, said thank you for covering our product, and we want to help your channel out and give us a little bit of recognition as well. So they gave me one of these for free to give away. So this is the biggest giveaway my channel's ever had. It's going to have the Centipede full scale, well, one six size arcade unit along with the incredible keychain. I will ship this for free anywhere in the United States. If you happen to win and happen to live outside the United States, I will pay up to $25 to ship it to you and you will need to cover whatever the rest of the cost is 
if you want this to come to your house because honestly sometimes international shipping rates are completely insane so you're gonna need to meet me at least halfway on that whatever it ends up being but regardless good luck to everybody who enters this competition and i can't wait to see who wins it make sure you subscribe to smash jt on youtube that you like it on facebook you follow twitter you follow instagram Smash JT is pretty much everywhere. Make sure you are following everywhere you can find it. Good luck to everybody again, and thank you again so much to New Wave Toys for providing the extra version of this to send away to one lucky winner. Good luck to everybody, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Smash